In this video, we'll show you how to get the Jamstick Creator up and running on Mac OS. Double click on the zip file and open the new folder that's created. Now double click on the jamstickcreator.pkg file. If you get a security error, go to system preferences, either by searching for it by clicking command and space to bring up spotlight or finding system preferences in your Mac's utility folder. Now click on privacy and security. This process may vary slightly between Mac OS versions. Scroll down to the security heading and make sure allow applications downloaded from is checked as app store and identified developers. Now you can run the PKG again. If it doesn't run the first time, you can right click on it and then click open and then you should be able to run it. Now follow the steps of the installer and wait for it to install. The Jamstick Creator is now installed. Let's open up the Jamstick Creator and download and install the sound library. A pop-up should appear the first time you open the Jamstick Creator. Follow the instructions there to download the sound library. Here you can change the location of the sounds to an external drive if necessary, but we recommend keeping the default settings. Once you're ready, click download install to start the process and it may take several minutes depending on your internet connection. And the creator is ready to go. Now you can open up the Jamstick creator from the link in the applications folder. Plug in your Jamstick, make sure it's turned on, and then click on the Audio MIDI tab at the top of the screen. In the MIDI section here, make sure your Jamstick is selected. Now the creator's ready to go. The installer also installed a VST3 and AUV3 plugin on your device, so you can run the Jamstick creator directly from your digital audio workstation. We hope you enjoy the Jamstick creator.